Welcome to this episode of the Happy Workaholic Podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman. I'm a business coach, luxury travel expert, and lifestyle blogger, currently residing in the beautiful city of Las Vegas. The Happy Workaholic Podcast is a happy, healthy, positive, and very productive show about living life in the fast lane, learning how to slow down, and how to become the best version of yourself through inspiration, motivation, and determination, both personally and professionally. If this sounds like something you're in need of in your life, then you've come to the right spot. I'll be sharing some of my favorite business tips, personality, and crazy stories from my own career choices. You will also be hearing from a few of my friends who happen to be entrepreneurs like myself. Don't forget, the conversation continues after the show on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram under the hashtag TheHappyWorkaholic. Now, if you want to hear any of my exclusive news first, just visit my website, kellyannegorman.com, and sign up to receive my weekly VIP newsletter. Now, let's get started with today's show. Welcome to Episode 3, Prep and Plan. Now, seeing as though today is a Sunday and I'm always meal prepping and planning my week ahead, I figured I would just do a podcast to kind of explain to you how I run my business and what I do in my personal life so that I can be as prepared as possible for my week ahead. Now, let's talk about health and wellness real quick. So I am a huge fan of meal prepping. If you follow me on my Instagram or my Facebook, you'll know that, Pinterest as well. I am obsessed with meal planning and prepping. It just keeps me organized just like I am in my planner. I do the same thing with my food. So every Sunday, I usually come up with a meal plan for the week, and I just prep it. So for example, today, I prepped all my juices, I put everything in the freezer so that nothing will go bad, and the money I spent isn't wasted. I'm a huge um, lover of the freezer. (laughs) Some people are anti-freezing everything, but I literally freeze every single thing I eat so that it lasts as long as possible. Especially if I get sick of meals, I can kind of like rotate them. So I prepped all my juices for the week. I made um, a delicious vegetarian soup. And then if I do crave some other proteins other than beans, like chicken or ground beef, I can always add that to the soup. So like I said, I did juices. I did soups. I did some uh, squash, spaghetti squash and zucchini noodles with some um, tomato sauce on top, which I made homemade. And I have my um, protein balls, the vegan protein balls I make all the time, and my veggie burgers. So I'm definitely prepped for the week, if not um, maybe two weeks, as far as my meals go. And sometimes I'll just prep one or two meals, but my week ahead is very busy. I have um, doctor's appointments almost every single day this week, So except for the exception of tomorrow, actually, which is Monday. And I know I'm just going to want to grab a meal and either eat it on the go or just have something ready that's um, going to take three minutes to heat up. So that's what I did as far as my food. So I always meal prep on a Sunday and it just kind of like gets me motivated for the week ahead. And then I'll go on Pinterest and look for other ideas or I'll put my own recipes on my Pinterest page which if you're interested, it is recipes from the KK Cafe. Those are my personal recipes. And then I have a bunch of other um, Pinterest boards that are healthy recipes or not so healthy recipes and delicious treats. So I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest. And then I also concoct my own. So as far as in my personal life and meal prepping, that's always done on a Sunday. Just to, you know, like I said, keep myself inspired and motivated and really prepare for the week ahead. Now, as far as business goes, in my planner, I always write everything down on Sundays. I prep for my meetings. I prep for my doctor's appointments and my social media content and anything else uh, I have left to do. So, When you write in your planner, when it's asking you, depending on what style, and if you use a large planner or a small planner, depending on how many lines, I actually started doing this in January, writing down, I'm making my health a priority, and I'm actually writing down instead of just in my mind knowing that I have to do it every morning, because I am a huge 
list maker. If you've been listening to my podcast, you know that already. And if you know me personally, I love to make lists. And there's just something about being able to cross something off for me that makes me um, feel good. So on the first three lines, I always write happy and journal, walk and water, meditate and read. So basically what that means is every morning when I wake up, I put a little inspiration or something that's um, already made me happy, or sometimes I do it at night. Something that's made me happy, I make a little deposit into my happiness jar. I actually use a vase. And then when you're having a rough day, you can go back into the happiness jar, pull something out, and remember what made you happy on a specific day. And feel free to pull out a couple of them if you are having a really really tough day. (laughs) Sometimes you need that extra little boost and motivation and something to remind yourself that um, things will get better. So I always make a daily deposit into my happiness jar. I journal every single day. I try to walk every single day. I haven't been that good with that the last week, but um, starting tomorrow, I'm getting back on track. I'm in Vegas, so I literally have to go at 536 in the morning or it's just way too hot to go. And I want to make sure I get my daily um, daily intake of water, so I have to make that a priority, which is why I write that on my list. I meditate every day, and reading either reading a book or reading my saved emails or reading something in- inspirational, I also make that a priority. So I actually write those down in my planner, and it takes up a line because it those things to me are a part of my personal and professional life because I'm not. If I'm not doing well personally and health-wise, then I can't be my best when it comes to business. So as I said, in January, I actually started writing those down. So I wrote happy, journal, walk, water, meditate, and read. And I cross those off every day, and it just gives me a little boost of energy, like, you know, and myself give myself a high five, like I actually got all those things done, and it makes me feel good. On the bottom note of my planner, the bottom line, I write what my daily tasks are. So for me personally, on Monday, Monday is my big content prepping day. So I take, I don't schedule any meetings. I try not to schedule any doctor's appointments. So Monday, I can just be on my computer, schedule out all my content for the week if I'm not already doing it on Sunday night, especially my social media, and schedule out the content and the blog post that I need to write throughout the week. Sometimes I'll do it the day of, but it I'm a lot more productive if I actually take Monday and create at least half of the content so that I can then build from there. So my personal schedule, Monday is a day, like I said, of um, creating all the content and social media and scheduling out posts. On Tuesdays, you can always find my blog on kellyangorman.com. On Wednesdays, that is the day where all my VIP newsletters go out. So if you haven't already subscribed and you want to receive them in your inbox, you can just go to kellyangorman.com and sign up. So on Wednesdays, those always go out. On Thursdays, I post my published post on LinkedIn, and then I um, spend a little bit of time on LinkedIn networking and talking in the groups and um, following up with new connections for the week. And then on Friday, I make sure that I'm always going to have a new podcast. And I know that this is the first week that my podcast is up and live, so I kind of wanted to put a little bit more content out to explain, you know, who I am, what I'm doing, and give you more business tips and tricks, and just share a little bit more this week since it's just kicking off, but you can definitely expect a new podcast every Friday. So that's my personal schedule, so I make sure I write that down in my planner. And then as well as all of that, I have all my doctor's appointments, and that's just personal um, follow-ups, which usually I don't have one every single day, but this week is going to be a tough one, and it's just following up for um, my autoimmune disease, NMO that I have, that I've discussed before, and then Saturday and Sunday are my free days, except for on Sunday night, I try to schedule out my social media content, at least half of it, so that I'm not overwhelmed on Monday because I'm already creating so much content and I'm and I usually have um, conference calls with my clients on Sunday nights as well. That way, we can both be prepared for the week ahead. So that's just a little um, personal and professional tips and tricks and what I do 
in my business and in my personal life with my meal prep. So I kind of just wanted to give you a little insight and um, explain to you how I prep and plan. And I would love to hear how you prep and plan for your week ahead. Do you schedule things out on Sunday? Do you do a month in advance? Right now I'm actually... Um, sitting on Pinterest and I'm reorganizing all of my albums because I've realized you always need to be ahead of the game. And for me, I've realized I'm getting a lot of traffic to my Pinterest page. And I know it's because I just synced up my Instagram and I'm also posting a lot of recipes and I'm, a, I guess you could call me a quotaholic. I'm obsessed with motivational and inspirational quotes. And because I'm pinning a lot more, I'm just getting a lot of traffic to my Pinterest. So then I have to ask myself, how am I going to drive that traffic to my website to then convert it into sales? So that's actually what I'm working on on a Sunday because yesterday I watched a lot of tutorials on YouTube to explain things to me a lot easier that I don't, I'm not already aware of. So you always want to be ahead of, one step ahead of the game and Always be, um, yeah, like I said, <laughs> I'm stumbling for my words right now. As you can see, I never edit these, and um, I always like to record in one shot. So, yeah, you always want to be one, one step ahead of the, your game and business and always be prepared. So that's what I'm actually working on right now is fixing up my Pinterest page. So feel free to look at it this week. You can follow me on Pinterest at kellyangorma.com. And see all the new updates that I'm making, and I'm um, really proud of it. I'm doing a lot of organizational um, projects today, so it's a busy Sunday. Anyway, so that's it. It's all I wanted to talk about was prepping and planning, and I'd love to hear more about what you guys do and how you plan and prep ahead, if it's a week, a month, and maybe you have some more tips and tricks that you'd like to share. So feel free to send me a tweet at Kellyanne Gorman and always search under the hashtag the happy workaholic because that is where I will be there to answer all of your questions and if you have any comments or concerns or always feel free to email me at hello at kellyannegorman.com. So I hope you guys are having a great Sunday and you had a fabulous weekend and I will talk to you all soon. Until next time. Thank you so much for listening to today's show. If you like this episode, please let me know by writing a review for the Happy Workaholic podcast. I would truly appreciate it. As I always say, sharing is caring. Don't forget, the after show happens on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just search under the hashtag, the Happy Workaholic. That's where I'll be to answer all of your questions about any of my episodes. Now, if for some reason you're not on social media, you can always reach me via my website at kellyangorman.com. Oh, and while you're there, make sure you sign up to receive my VIP newsletter. You'll be getting those delivered in your inbox every Wednesday. Thanks again for listening, and we'll talk again soon.